Book provided by Early Science Curriculum. Read by Miss Michelle. Background music provided by iMovie. Rocks and Soil, written by Natalie Lunas. Rocks are a piece of the earth. You find them everywhere. You can find a big boulder on a rocky hill. You can find small rocks and pebbles near rivers and streams. On the beach, you can find tiny grains of sand. These are rocks too. In this desert, you can find tall rocks that reach up to the sky. You can collect rocks to study their different colors, patterns, and shapes. Most rocks are very old. Some even show traces of plants and animals that lived long ago. These traces are called fossils. Rocks are strong and useful. The ancient Egyptians used many rocks to build these huge pyramids. People use rocks to make all these things too. Soil is made from tiny pieces of rock mixed with humus. Humus forms from fallen leaves and other once living things. They slowly decay and break apart. Plants, animals, and people all depend on soil to live. Plants grow in soil. Many animals eat plants. Other animals eat the plant eaters. You eat food from plants every day. What is your favorite? Did you know that rocks and soil give us so many gifts? Now that we've listened to the story, let's think about what we've learned. Pause the video after each question. Number one, where have you seen large or interesting rocks? What were they like? Number two, how have you used rocks or soil today? List at least three ways. Number three, why do you think people study rocks and soil? Fun facts, some rocks have been around for billions of years. Between 30 and 120 miles under the ground, it is so hot that the rocks are melted. This melted rock is called magma. One of the biggest fish fossils was found in 2003. The fish was twice the size of a whale shark, which is the biggest fish alive today. The Egyptian pyramids were built thousands of years ago. They are still standing today.